New details tonight, new data showing how common and how devastating cyber attacks are becoming across the country. According to a new report from IBM, the global average cost of a data breach is $4.8 million this year. That's a 10% increase from last year. And according to Forbes, 2023 saw a 72% increase and data breaches since 2021. The rise comes as Columbus is dealing with its own cyber attack, of course, that leaked hundreds of thousands of people's information to the dark web. 10TV was first to tell you about the attack one month ago yesterday. 10TV's Terry Jabor looks at the timeline and where that investigation stands now. Here's what we know. The city of Columbus says on July 18th, the city severed its internet connection to reduce the threat to what the city called a potential malicious link. On July 22nd, 10 TV's Lacey Crisp was the first to tell you about the impact of the cyber hack. Less than 10 days later, 10 TV learned the bank accounts for at least two Columbus police officers had been hacked. The next day, cyber experts said that the hacker group Reseda was demanding a nearly $2 million ransom. The group claimed they stole six and a half terabytes of city data. The next day, the city offered free credit monitoring to all city employees. On August 7th, the hacker group claims they made 45% of the city's data they obtained public. Just two days later, the first class action lawsuit was filed against the city. It was filed on behalf of Columbus police officers. A few days later, Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther spoke to 10TV. Here's what he he said when we asked about what type of data was on the dark web. We believe that the screenshots of the data files are the most compelling asset they had, but that sensitive files were either encrypted or corrupted, uh, making them totally uh, unusable. Just hours after Mayor Ginther interviewed with 10TV, a cybersecurity expert came forward claiming he was able to download hundreds of thousands of people's private information off the dark web, including people who visited City Hall and crime victims. Two days later, 10TV asked Mayor Ginther if he lied and asked about transparency. Well, I shared the best information that I had at the time based on reports and con confirmation from cybersecurity experts. One day later, the city expands free credit monitoring to all Columbus residents and anyone who believes they could be impacted. The next day, Saturday, almost one month after the cyber attack, the mayor admits citizens' information was exposed in the data leak. We believe that uh, it is safe to assume that other information, uh, personal identifiable information uh, will will be out there. Two days later, a cybersecurity expert finds even more people's information on the dark web. And on August 20th, a second class action lawsuit was filed against the city, this time on behalf of all Columbus firefighters and police officers. That was 10 TV's Terry Jabor with that look back and today we are learning more than 7400 people have now signed up for that free credit monitoring through the city to sign up for that credit monitoring text the word hack to that number on your screen 614-460-3345 we'll send you the instructions and steps to freeze your credit.